We begin with breaking news. Thanks for watching on TV and on our digital streaming network, CBS in Chicago. Still no decision about school tomorrow as the Chicago Teachers Union extends the deadline, the voting deadline. Our Charlie DeMar is live at City Hall tonight. Charlie. And Erica was already expected to be a late night and a late decision. Even later now, we are told that the teachers union union extended that online voting window for its union rank and file members from nine o'clock until 10 o'clock. So we do expect where we hoped rather to get those results uh, quickly. Now, if the vote is in favor of staying out of the classroom and returning to online learning, Chicago Public Schools already making the decision to cancel classes tomorrow. Amid a surge in city COVID cases, the Chicago Teachers Union rank and file were asked to vote whether or not they supported staying home and out of the class starting tomorrow. Earlier tonight, 88% of the union's delegates voted in favor of a return to online learning. But if it's just for a short while, if it means we're all healthy and alive, I yeah. think it's worth it. Kelly Lindsay sees it from both sides. She's not only a parent, she's also a CPS teacher. So believe me, I would rather not teach remotely. However, it's better to teach remotely than not at all. The teachers union is calling for expanded COVID-19 measures. Late tonight, Mayor Lori Lightfoot accused union leaders of politicizing education. CTU leadership is compelling its membership to make a decision that will harm hundreds of thousands of Chicago families who rely upon CPS for their daily needs. What are the consequences for not showing up to work? I mean, the simple answer is if people want to be compensated, they have to show up for work. So teachers won't get paid. If you want to be compensated, you have to show up for work. Sources say the union's vote could keep teachers out of the classroom for at least a couple of weeks unless an agreement is reached sooner with CPS or COVID rates dip below a certain level. The teachers are being put in the unfortunate situation um, where we're trying to keep people safe. We're trying to run school and we're not being given the tools to do it. CPS parents once again left with the tough choice of what to do with their kids if teachers aren't in class. Yeah, we need to make our alternate plans for us. I would obviously prefer it to be in person. Yeah. That's always good for the kids. But this CPS student making it clear she doesn't want to stay home tomorrow. Because I love school. Mm -hmm. The CPS CEO Pedro Martinez tonight blasting the teachers union for making a decision that affects so many families in the city this late at night. Now again, we believe that that online poll has closed at 10. We of course will let you know once we know right here on air and online. Reporting live from City Hall, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Erica. Thank you, Charlie. While both sides work on a deal, be the first to hear breaking developments by signing up for the CBS 2 app. You can find it wherever you download your apps for free.